weathered brown door. The number reads 20. Something smells good. Soup à l'oignon. The lieutenant motions to you to go ahead and knock. This is the door. You already know it's the right door. This is going to be so hard. You're right. It's still totally true. You hear some light footsteps and what appears to be a daily weather forecast playing on the radio. We have our first preliminary identification. In all likelihood, the deceased is the husband of Billy Mejean. We need to confirm this, as well as deliver the death notification to Billy herself. Now, delivering a death notification is never an easy task. There's a reason why it's often called the most stressful part of our job. This is why it's usually done in pairs. You got this. I'll be monitoring reactions, ready to act if necessary. Dad, just don't say that you know how they feel. You don't. Good advice. Yes, it's hard. But there is no easy way to handle this information. It just has to happen, as soon as possible. We can't. Someone has to deliver the news. Let's go. This only makes it harder. Here comes the pain. Hello? Who is it? And someone turns down the radio. The police? A moment, please give us a moment. Tidy enough. Nervously, there's fear in her voice. Come in, the door is open. It's you from the book stand. Did you come to bring my cockatoo back? I don't think I introduced myself properly. I'm Billy. Would you like something to drink? Tea? Lemonade? We're out of coffee. The lieutenant has taken off his foggy glasses and is busy cleaning them in his handkerchief for now. You're on your own here. He must feel vulnerable without his glasses. Is this why he's letting you take the lead? Is this about Victor, my husband? Is he in some kind of trouble again? I can come pick him up in the station if that's what. No, this is something much worse. Is he in the hospital? It's like ripping off a bandage. The least painful way is to do it straight away, without stalling. It's me. Victor, and the kids here, we have two daughters, Jenny and Jolie. Mm -hmm. They came home later. They are good girls. The girls are staying at their friend's place tonight. And Victor is... out. She swallows visibly. No. Why? Do you have any news? His old leather jacket. Um, it's just your average brown leather jacket, but he bought it as a teenager, so... No, well, the lining is hand-sewn. It's blue. I tried to make the thing more weatherproof since he's running around with it in the middle of winter. She folds her hands across her chest. Here it comes. How have I been? You're not here to discuss me. What is this? You've done this before. Just keep your focus. Yes, that's the most important thing. Use that word. What did you say? A great and terrible spike. The blood freezes in her veins. Oh. Oh. But he was just... But he was just here, alive, 
We understand this comes as a huge shock. I want you to know that me and my partner are here for you if you have any questions. Take your time, ma'am. What happened to him? Was he drunk? I see. And you just found him there, lying in the cold. How long had he been there? If you say two days, maybe, it will be etched in her mind forever. She blinks, eyes welling up with tears as her hand starts searching for something from the pockets of her dress. Here. No, no. I just need to tell my girls. It burns like acid. God, should I call them? Should I tell them to come home? No. A day. No, I'll do it myself. I just... She can't take much more. Her stomach is churning. Soon, she will have to go to the bathroom and scream. Just tell me, what do I need to do next? Where is he? Can I see him? We've taken him to the city morgue. The local coroner will be contacting you shortly to arrange the funeral. Here's his number in case you want to contact him earlier. Is there anything else that the RCM could do for you? No, I'll call you if something comes up. I'm still... Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'll call if... These are her last reserves of strength. Her muscles will give in soon. Already, she starts to shake. We should step outside and talk. enough. Can't save the whole world, you know. Anyway, I'll call the station when we're finished with the day and let them know the name of the deceased. That's it. We should get back to our case now that our duty here is done. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 